In AutoCAD electrical, wiring diagrams are associated to each other, and the diagrams can be grouped or assembled as a project. To copy, delete, activate a project, or modify information which is related to the project, Project Manager can be used. Generally, the Project Manager is docked on the left of the screen. If it is not displayed, you can choose Project tab and then select Manager tool and finally, the Project Manager will be displayed. Moreover, you can place the Project Manager at the desired location that you want. It will be undocked and displayed separately on the screen by double-clicking on the title bar of the project manager. It is possible to hide the project manager if you don't want to use it. Here you can double-click on a project name in the project's rollout and group of drawings which are related to the project will be shown. You can see the active project that is shown in bold text in the project's rollout. To activate any project, you can just right-click on it, then select Activate. Therefore, the selected project will move to the top of the list in bold text and will become an active project. Also, the details of the chosen project will be available in this frame. It is impossible to create two projects with the same name in the project manager. You have to notice that. Now I want to show you the procedure to create a project. In order to create a project, you need to click on the new project button in the project manager. The create new project dialog box will be displayed for you. In the Name Edit box, you need to enter the name of the project that you want. While doing this part, the WDP extension will be added to the file name automatically. A WDP project file is a text file which is made of interrelated drawings. When you remove drawings, add drawings, update the project properties, and so on, Project Manager will update the WDP file. The Create folder with the Project Name checkbox has to be selected. Therefore, the name of this created folder will be same as the project name. For saving the project, you can use the location edit box to specify the location. Here, select the browse button to choose your desired location. Now you can click on the OK button to create project files in the desired folder. You can use the settings from an existing project. To do that, you can copy the settings and utilize the copied setting in a new project. Therefore, in the copy settings, define the name and the location of the existing project file. To do so, select the Browse button, then the Select Project File dialog box will be shown for you. Find the existing project file that you want, then choose it. As you can see, when you choose a project, the settings of it 
will be applied to the new project. By default, the location of the specified project is displayed here. To specify the description after project, click on the description button. You can write in the lines the descriptions of your project. If you want to add the description line to your report, you have to click on the In Reports checkbox. To save the descriptions, click on the OK button. After creating the project, it will be added to the project manager. Moreover, it will become an active project and it will be shown in bold text. Another way to create a new project is just by right-clicking in the project's rollout. As you see, shortcut menu will be shown and you can select the new project.